Jesus warned us that before his return, that there would be a time of great tribulation and distress on the earth, such as never been seen since the beginning of the world. Matthew 24, 21. And he called this period of time, he called this period of time the beginning of sorrows, which means birth pains. Just like a woman in labor, the earth will experience that in increasing pain and agony until the glorious appearing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. And but what, what are some of the signs of the beginning of sorrows? Jesus listed them in Matthew 24, 4 through 8. He talked about deception. He said the many false Christs, the false prophets will rise and will deceive many, even the elect, if possible. Amen. And he talked about wars. Nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And that there'll be conflicts. There's going to be violence. There's going to be bloodshed all over the world in Matthew 24 and 6. Famines, there'll be uh, scarcity of food and water leading to hunger and thirst and starvation for many people. Pestilence, there'll be outbreaks of disease, plagues and epidemics uh, affecting both humans and animals. And I say, boom, you know, there it is. Earthquakes, there'll be great uh, seismic activity causing the earth to shake and tremble all over. And that, that's going to result in a lot of destruction, a lot of devastation, a lot of death. And these are just the beginning of sorrows, the Bible says, the first stage of the end times. And they're going to in, in, increase. They're going to intensify. They're going to, going to multiply as the day of the Lord draws nigh, draws near to us. The Bible tells us that after the, the, the beginning of sorrows, that there's going to be more dreadful events that's going to come along. Um, there's going to be persecution. The Bible says Christians will be hated. They'll be betrayed. They're going to be arrested along the way. They're going to be killed for their faith in Jesus Christ. They're going to be faced with opposition, hostility, nations and people groups and all this stuff. And it's going to be a, a apostasy. Amen. Uh, many who profess to be Christians will fall away from the faith and they'll become offended. They'll become bitter. They'll become hateful. They'll follow the ways of the world. And the deception of the Antichrist. That's what they're going to do. Uh, abomination. The Antichrist will set up an image of himself in the holy place of the temple in Jerusalem, demanding that uh, you know all you know all worship from all peoples. And that's going to be the ultimate blasphemy, the ultimate rebellion against God. And wrath. God will pour out His uh, righteous judgment on the wicked and the unrepentant world. To the seven seals, the seven trumpets, um, the seven bowls of his wrath. And so that's going to include cosmic disturbances, uh, be natural disasters, the demonic attacks, plagues, uh, of just unprecedented magnitude. And this is going to be the beginning of sorrows. It's only going to get worse from there, guys. But there's hope for all those who belong to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm about to shout. Amen. Uh, he, he promised to come back and he promised to rescue the faithful. Amen. From the hour of trial that's coming upon the whole world. And uh, he also promised to reward those uh, who endure to the end. Going to give them eternal life. Amen. In his kingdom. And Revelation uh, uh, 22 and, and 12. So, uh, therefore, let us not be afraid. Uh, or dismayed by the signs of the times, but let us be watchful and let us be ready for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's also be faithful, amen. Let's be fruitful in sharing this gospel message to all the lost out that way, amen. The grace and, and truth of the Word of God that they might be saved, that they might be saved, and um, from the wrath of God that's coming. And let's always remember His words. The Bible says, Behold, I'm coming quickly. Blessed is He who keeps the words. Of the prophecy of this book. Amen. Revelation 22 7. That's my take. God bless you.